gamers? Today, I'm gonna to be trying the new Mr. Beast bars. I've been wanting to try these since they first came out, but online they were like $50 for a variety pack box. And ain't no way I'm dropping 50 bucks on a box of chocolate. What do you think I am, Rich? When you try your best, but you don't succeed. Anyway, uh, about a year ago, I found some of the Feastable chocolate bars at my local Walmart, and I bought a couple to make a video on. But then I sort of disappeared from YouTube for a year, and that video never got made. Then when I wanted to make it again a couple weeks ago, I couldn't find them. And so I went to the store and bought some new ones. You heard the other day? I went to the store! Yeah! I went to the aisle to get something to eat! Yeah! Unbeknownst to me though, these are a complete redesign and like redone recipe. So it'll be interesting to try them. I did eventually find the old ones after I bought the new ones, but it'll be nice that way because then I can compare the old and the new and see if the flavors are any better. Maybe it'll help this video get more views, I don't know. Surprisingly, despite being a year old, most of these are not out of date. Um, this one is. So we'll just keep it down to these ones. Yeah, these are not out of date. They go bad in April and May, but they're still good. So that means I can still try them and they'll probably still taste okay, hopefully. But yeah, with the Feastables, like the appeal to them is that they're supposed to be better than Hershey's. So we have Hershey's over here to compare them to. And if you look at the ingredients, let's see, milk chocolate, sugar, whole milk, powdered, cocoa butter, unsweetened chocolate. And soy, natural, vanilla extract. Yeah, so pretty basic ingredients. Um, I guess that's kind of like the appeal to them is that they're supposed to be more natural. Because yeah, if you look at Hershey's, this the milk chocolate's not as bad. Milk chocolate, sugar, chocolate, milk, cocoa butter, skim milk, milk fat, soy, PGPR, natural flavor. Not as bad. White chocolate, I love these ones. And I'm interested to see how they will compare. This one is pretty bad. It's sugar, vegetable oil, palm oil, sheet oil, sunflower oil, palm kernel oil, or and or sapphire oil, skim milk, enriched wheat flour, sulfate, thiamine, mononitrate, riboflavin, folic acid, corn syrup, solids, lactose milk, cocoa processed with alkali, contains 2% of less than of whey, milk, hyperdose corn syrup, chocolate, soy, baking soda, salt, PGPR, natural and artificial flavor. So this one's a lot worse, but I'm interested to see how they will all compare. I think the old ones are the same too, with like very basic ingredients of the old Mr. Beast bars. Cane sugar, organic chocolate, liquor, organic cocoa butter, crispy quinoa, and sunflower. Okay, yeah. That's supposed to be the appeal to these, is that they're more natural. And sometimes natural food is way better, and sometimes it's not. So I'm interested to see how they'll compare. So before I actually try the chocolate, uh, I did want to say these chocolate bars for a 2.1 ounce feasible bar, it was $2.57 versus $2.16 for a 4.4 ounce Hershey's bar. So there's definitely a pretty big price difference. So we'll see if the Feastable bars make up for that. I unfortunately don't remember how much these were because I got them like a year ago. So I cannot give you a price comparison with these ones. Okay, I will try peanut butter first. Because peanut butter is usually good. Let's see how that one works. Ooh, it smells good. Yeah, I smell good. Okay, here we go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hang on a second. You actually thought I was going to get to the point of the video that quickly. Come on, man. Come on, man. This is YouTube we're talking about. You can't go five seconds without an ad, which is why today's video is sponsored by BetterHelp. No, God, please, no. Now, I know what you may be thinking. Isn't BetterHelp the company that got exposed a few years back for having unlicensed therapists and scummy refund policies? Well, I mean, yeah, you'd be correct in saying that, but it seems everyone's forgotten about it as every YouTuber under the sun is back to being sponsored by BetterHelp again. You can't blame me for wanting a piece of that sweet, sweet sponsorship money. It's so juicy. Mwah. That being said, there is no better place to get help than BetterHelp. Whether you're looking for roofing advice, financial advice, or even just help with your science homework, BetterHelp is the place to, huh? huh? What, what was that? Oh, well, oh, BetterHelp is just a therapy place? Man, that's kind of lame. Who needs therapy anyway? <laughs> well, if any of you are actually interested in treating your 10,000 untreated mental illnesses instead of chronically <laughs> posting online, then why not sign up for BetterHelp today? It'll at least give you someone to talk to, I assume. I mean, it's gotta at least be better than talking to AI girlfriends, right? You look lonely. I can fix that. You're just like me, for real! 
Plus, if you use my link in the description and use code RACKET checkout, you can get 30% off your first year. Who knows? Maybe it'll even help you find a real girlfriend. These statements have not been evaluated by the National Girlfriend Association. This product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent crippling loneliness. Now, with that all out of the way, let's get back to the video. Can you open it? That's good. That's really good. It does definitely taste a lot like a Reese's. I think it would be better if it had like chunks in it. Because it's really good. I love it. But I, I feel like if it had like little peanut chunks in it, it would be so much better. Actually, a fun fact about these, the peanut butter ones. They used to be named These Nuts. These Nuts? <laughs> and then a smaller company called These Nuts or something like that went and sued them. Now they're called peanut butter instead. <laughs> so wild, too, to imagine like a court arguing about the name These Nuts. Just wild stuff, you know? Anyway, let's see how this compares to the Hershey's. Ah, the Hershey's one. good but it's not so good that i would say it's better than hershey's by any means it just kind of tastes like a reese's pieces bar anyway on to the milk chocolate see how this one compares and this will be a better comparison because this is milk chocolate versus milk chocolate so let's see mm. that's interesting I've never had a chocolate bar like this before. It's just different. You know, this is a very unique flavor for me. Um, I gotta say this one's a little bit better. Woo! Yeah, baby! The initial taste is super good. It definitely has a slight aftertaste. I'm not sure what I think of that aftertaste. Compared to the white chocolate and the milk chocolate. Let's see. Now, this milk chocolate is pretty good. I, I would give them a tie. Like, I love white chocolate, but man, that milk chocolate is really good. Let's see peanut butter versus white chocolate. I forgot to try that. No, white chocolate is most definitely better. Now let's see how the old recipe of milk chocolate compares to the new recipe. Come on, oh my! Yeah. Oh, that's like one solid bar. The old ones were just one solid bar. They didn't like break off like, these, like the new ones do. So I'll just try the corner. It looks like a Kit Kat. Mm. Hmm. Compare that to Hershey's. Yeah, they've definitely improved the milk chocolate one. The old one's kind of just okay. Okay, now we're on to the almond one. And I guess I'll compare that with the quinoa one since I guess they stopped doing it. I've never seen quinoa in a chocolate bar before, so I wish they had kept this one. I don't think they did. I don't think it's part of the new flavors. It looks good. I, I love almond ones, so I'm curious to see how this one compares. Very decent. Almost tastes like a new bigger chunks. I see how it compares to the quinoa. Mm. This one is good. Why do they stop making these? These are like good. Let's see how it compares to Hershey's. Yeah, the quinoa is pretty comparable to Hershey's. I think it's a dark chocolate, right? It looks like it's a dark chocolate. It kind of tastes like it too. This one's really good. I like this one a lot. Nah. This one's gonna be slightly better. Time for almond versus Hershey's and Hershey's cookies and cream. Let's go. Okay. This is definitely better than the Hershey's. It's hard to decide. I might just give these two a tie. So, I guess we'll make a little tier list now for this. All right, before we add all the chocolates to a tier list ranking system, I wanted to try one more flavor. 
Milk Crunch. This is supposed to be the replacement for the Quinoa Crunch one, except that they use rice instead of quinoa, which is like way less original. I don't know why you would do that. It's like adding corn to things. It's like, congratulations, Mr. Original. Every product in the US already uses that ingredient. I imagine this will taste like a glorified Rice Krispie treat, and I don't think I'll like it as much as the Quinoa Crunch one, but we'll have to see. I, I'll probably still like it a lot because as far as I can tell, it's still the milk chocolate recipe, and I do love that recipe, but I doubt I'll like it as much as the Quinoa one because, I don't know, I'm not the biggest fan of like Rice Krispie treats, and I imagine this will just taste like a glorified Rice Krispie treat, but we'll see. It sucks I can't compare them to the Quinoa Crunch ones anymore because I already ate both of those because they were actually good, <laughs> but I'll try to compare them to the memory of eating the Quinoa Crunch ones, and hopefully I can get an accurate review based on memory alone. Also, I tried the dark chocolate Feastables recently, and they weren't that good either. I'd give them maybe a seven. I've had way better dark chocolate before, so I don't know why they didn't just keep the old dark chocolate recipe. The one they had for the quinoa crunch was way better than their new one. Aside from that, I found out from the website there are two other flavors I haven't tried. There is the dark chocolate and sea salt flavor and the peanut butter crunch flavor. And since I didn't like the original ones, I doubt the slight changes in the other two versions will make it any better. I would have liked to try the peanut butter crunch one, but it's not sold in any of the near Walmarts. And online it's like 20 bucks, and then it's going to take like a week to get here. And then I might not even like it because I didn't even really like the peanut butter ones. They kind of just tasted like Reese's Pieces, which are a lot cheaper. So I won't be reviewing those. Maybe in the future I will if they end up in the store. But for now, I'll just be reviewing like 80% of the flavors or something. I don't know. I don't want to do math. I also bought another two milk chocolates. I already ate one of them, but these ones are so good. All right, time to try the milk crunch. It actually looks very similar to the way the quinoa crunch looked. So I'll give them that. It's kind of reminding me of another candy bar, like the crunch bars or something. I think that's what they're called. I haven't had those in forever. Let's try this. I mean, it's good. Kind of about what I expected. <laughs> the rice isn't as crunchy as I was hoping it would, and that's what I was worried about happening. The quinoa crunch was really good because the quinoa parts were really crunchy, and it really added to the flavor. But this, they're kind of... They're kind of small. Yeah, if the rice pieces were bigger in this and more crunchy, I think it would be a lot better. Right now, it kind of reminds me a lot of the almond flavor, where there's tiny little pieces that don't add much, but the milk chocolate recipe is good, and so it kind of balances it out, but it would get a lot higher rating if the crunch was actually better. That's what I loved about the quinoa crunch ones. That crunch was so good. Now, as for review... I'm feeling maybe a seven. It wasn't as good as I was hoping. It's Joe. I'm by done. So currently, the only good new Mr. Beast flavor is milk chocolate. Mm. Actually, the milk chocolate tastes better in that than, than the other one. Hmm. Interesting. Well, anyway, back to the ranking list. Milk chocolate, really good. Almond, also really good, but it would have been better with uh, bigger almond chunks. Quinoa crunch bar. I gotta try that a little bit again. Mm. This one's really good. I like this one. It tastes like so close to perfection. I really wish that they like get this one. I'm gonna put this equal with the almond because it's pretty good. I need to decide peanut butter versus milk chocolate. No, I haven't decided that one yet. Yeah, peanut butter is better. The milk chocolate recipe has improved so much. This one is awful. And then we gotta put the Hershey's milk in here somewhere. I think the this one's a tie here, and this Hershey's goes there. So that's where we rank them. Milk chocolate. Milk chocolate feastables at the top, the almond feastables next, uh, along with the quinoa one, which is the old flavor. I really wish they had kept that one. And the white chocolate is tied in with that. And then beneath that is Hershey's, and then we have the peanut butter bar and the old milk chocolate recipe. So how did feastables do compared to Hershey's? Well, I mean like a little over half were better or equal. So that's, that's good.
Hershey's does have a little bit of a fake flavor to their chocolate, and I guess if you're not into that, then Feastables will be a lot better. A lot of these bars just felt like they could have been improved upon. I didn't try, but I just got what I could get my hands on. And I hope you guys enjoyed. Hopefully this was helpful and you had fun watching this dumb video of me eating chocolate. And uh, I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.